Good evening, St. John's. Each day when I sit down and decide what I'm going to talk about for the evening reflection, one of the things I consider is, did something happen in the news today that warrants a response? And as you and I both know, there's a lot going on in the news today. Every day, throughout the day, there's more articles and stories about this conflict we're in around the transfer of um, administrations. And I don't think I have it in me to talk about that every night. Yes, I know it's happening every day, and it will continue to, and I'll probably talk about it sometimes, but I, I don't want this to be the only topic we meditate on as we go to bed. So let me just say, even if we're in a pandemic and we can't see each other, I'm still your priest. And if you want to talk about these things, of course, give me a call. Uh, you know how to be in touch with me, and I will always be available to hear what you're thinking about what your concerns are, um, and to talk about what this means for us as followers of Christ. So for tonight, I'm not going to talk about those things at all. I'm going to talk about something far simpler. I was in the uh, parking lot at Costco the other day, and I realized that uh, it's always been my habit when I'm returning my cart to the place where you stick your grocery carts to grab what other carts are on my way and to put them together and to stack them together. I consider this a minor virtue. <laughs> I always feel like I'm helping out the people who left it there. I'm helping the uh, Costco employees who have to go around and find these wayward carts all over the parking lot. And honestly, I just like the sense of tidiness and order of lining them all up together. But during COVID, I haven't been doing it because the grocery cart might have COVID on the handle. <laughs> And so every time I see them there, there's a bit of sadness in me. My impulse is to go grab that cart and to stick it where it belongs, and I just leave it there, this little mess. And I was thinking about that and recognizing maybe this is true for most people, that we all have our, our minor virtues, these little things we do that help make this world better. And part of the sadness of COVID that we probably haven't copped on to is that we can't do our minor virtues. I, I remember during the summer when we were doing patio worship at St. John's, uh, I asked my wife, Cynthia, are you going to come? She said, no, I can't imagine going to church and not being able to hug people. It would just be a misery. Because if you know Cynthia, she's a fabulous hugger. And it's a minor virtue. She gives great hugs. And she thought, I don't want to go to church and not be able to hug. I don't like going to the, through the parking lot and not being able to put the carts away. And I only bring this up to say, this pandemic we're living through is touching us in a thousand different ways, many of which we don't even recognize. But it's worth considering, is there a minor virtue in your life, this little thing that you are in the habit of giving, where you know yourself to be part of the common good that has also been taken away. And if so, one, you could lament it. It's okay to feel sad about not being able to push grocery carts back. And two, if you can't identify it, to be able to think, is there a way I can do it safely? Or is there a safe equivalent thing that I could do that would give me just as much joy? The other day, I did push a grocery cart back. I thought, oh, forget it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I hope I don't get COVID. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, Kick Harbor. <laughs>